Slowly but surely, I'm starting to get adjusted to life here at Flower Lane. You sleep well. Oh, good morning, Alyssa. Where's Chelsea and Kiera? Oh, uh... I hate you so much, Kiera. Why don't you try getting up on time? Kiera always wakes up the earliest. She'll go on her morning jogs and come back to wake the rest of us up, but... This always creates friction between her and Chelsea. You can't just wrap someone up like a burrito with their own blanket and roll them around. You're unbelievable, you know that? What kind of person refuses to wake up even after they've been rolled around in a blanket? You're the one who's unbelievable. Here we go again. You guys are always at each other's throats in the morning. Just eat some breakfast and get ready for school. All right. Okay. She sure knows how to keep them in line. I have cereal and fruits for breakfast. And start getting ready for school. Lucky her. She doesn't have to worry about which outfit she's going to wear since they're all tracksuits. What should I wear today? Let's wear something different today. Let's go with a dress. Your first day heading to school with your housemates. Show yourself off with a pretty outfit. Which I guess is what we're already wearing. How about something a bit more refreshing? I really like the way I look in this dress. They all seem awestruck as I come into view. My goodness, you're so pretty. Someone might ask you for your number on the way to school. I won't let that happen. But I have to admit. Kiara seems to be sad at the same time. Well, this dress certainly did its job. We all head out the door. The weather's so nice today. Thank goodness it's not rainy. I'd be dead from Kiara's morning, tor morning torture. That's why I go easy on you on rainy days. You caught beating me with the pillow going easy on me? A few good pillow beatings won't kill you. <laughs> she was so worried about me when I got hit by a pillow, though. Hit it out, you guys. We're almost there. Don't waste your energy. Those two don't know when to quit when they're around one another. <laughs> to my relief, we arrive at school. The front gates to the school are the closest to our share house. And it's also where the four of us split into our different classes. I'm heading to the engineering lab. Where are you guys heading? The gymnasium, as usual. Digi and I are heading to the International Studies Department. We have the same morning class together. Oh, that's right. We share the same class. But I won't be able to have lunch with you today. I have to prepare a presentation. It's alright. I don't mind eating alone. Then how about... eating lunch with me? Lunch? With you? Doesn't she have a strict diet? You don't mind having e okay, you don't mind having lunch with me or sounds good. Let's go to where you want for lunch then. We'll go with you don't mind having lunch with me. Mind? Me? I don't want to mess up your diet or anything. Wow. I've never had anyone worry about me like that before. I'm fine. One lunch without sticking to my diet won't hurt. I'll see you later then. Don't hurt yourself or anything. Kira nods and grins at me as I head toward the department building. It's good to see Kira open up to you like that. What do you mean? She always puts up a wall around other people. It takes a while for her to actually open up to anyone. Really? I thought she was so happy-go-lucky. Sort of, but she's definitely not the type to ask someone to have lunch with her. People recognize her right away whenever she steps outside, after all. Oh. That 
That's right. It must be stressful. So her asking me to have lunch with her today must have taken a lot of courage on her part. It was thoughtful of her to ask me like that, knowing I wouldn't be able to. Before I know it, I have nothing else but Kiera on my mind. I don't even realize class has ended. Alright, let's leave it off here for today. Thank you everyone, have a good lunch. Mm. Hey, I think you got a message. Huh? I checked my phone to see the message. I'm in the lobby of your building. 12 p.m. This is when this building is the most packed. I get out of my seat in a hurry. I don't want to keep her waiting in that crowd. I'll see you later. Be careful. Don't trip or anything. I find Kiara right away among the thick crowd. She's right. She's right smack in the middle of it all after all. Excuse me, coming through. I lock arms with Kiera as soon as I find an opening. Hey! Sorry about this, just bear with me for a while. Nothing to be sorry for. I'm out of breath, but I don't dare stop. I don't want to let go of her warmth either. I finally let go as we near the front gates. You should have waited back at the gymnasium. You ended up drawing too much attention here. Sorry about that. I just wanted to see you earlier. No, you don't have to apologize for that. <sighs> she looks at me like a worried child as I sigh. I hope that wasn't too stressful. They just took some pictures here and there. Nothing upsetting. Why do people keep talking? Why do people keep taking pictures when they're asked not to? Are you mad? No, I'm fine, but promise me something, will you? Promise you what? Her eyes light up suddenly. I'll head to the gymnasium when we need to meet up from now on. So just stay put and wait there. But I don't like waiting around. What did I just say? Alright. Thank you for being so thoughtful. Where should we go now? She speaks with a bright expression on her face. You'll see. I grab her hand instead of answering. I hear her soft footsteps behind me, and after a while I turn to see her. You're, you're holding my hand. Do you get shy easily? She's definitely the shy type. But I thought you liked someone. Whoever it is, I bet they already figured out you like them. I don't think so. Huh? Never mind. By the way, are you seeing someone? Why, are you asking me out? Her eyes suddenly freeze in place. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on, you didn't have to turn all pale like that. I was just surprised. I thought you were serious. Alright, alright, anyways. We're here, let's go in. We arrive at the restaurant. I smile as I grab her hand. It's a small Italian restaurant famous for their pasta. Only a handful of people know about this place. Really? Yeah. So you don't have to worry about people clamoring around for you, clamoring around you for an autograph. Thank goodness. You know, it's been a while since I could take off my hat and enjoy a meal outside. She always looks like a fully bloomed flower whenever she smiles. You need to make sure you don't take her anywhere crowded from now on. It seems as if I've been falling for that very smile. A few moments later, our meals are served. I hope it's to your liking. This looks so good. I was so sick and tired of the food over at the gymnasium cafeteria. I just sit there and stare. 
as Kiera puts on a happy smile and starts digging in. <laughs> so cute. I've never thought of someone as cute before while watching them eat. It feels strange, so I quickly look away. As we quietly enjoying our meal. Hey. Yeah? Did you hear me? Oh, sorry, what did you say? I asked if you're going straight back home after your class. Oh, I'm gonna stay behind for a bit to study for my finals. I might have to stay up all night at the library. Don't wait up, okay? Can't you come home? Back before the sun sets? Why? The street lamp outside our place is busted, so it's dangerous at night. Don't worry. Well, what can possibly happen? I always worry about you. I don't want to see you out at night all on your own. Why is my face feeling so hot all of a sudden? Oh, I see. You still didn't answer my question. Alright, I'll get back before it gets too dark. And if you still think you'll be late? Well, in that case... You have to call me. I'll come pick you up. What about your exercises? That's not important. You'll be at the International Studies Department Library, right? Yeah. She seems quite proud. We soon finish our lunch, and the two of us get ready to head back. Lunch is on me today. No, I got this. I can't have you spending your money on me. Well, our next lunch is on me then. I nod instinctively. Should we head back now? What if there are too many people around on our way back? Well, she says she don't like really being around crowded places. We can offer to head back alone. But we might get more hearts if we decide to go head back with her. Let's, let's head back with her. Ah, it was a good choice. You want me to drop... You want to drop me off? How nice of you. Yep. So where's my nice girl sticker? Well, you're all grown up now, so no sticker for you. Psh, then how about a trophy? How about I pet you instead? Really? Such a shy girl, how cute. Alright, let's go. I'm adorable, aren't I? <laughs> Whatever. We arrive at my department building and say goodbye. See you later. Have a good class. I wave at her and go up to the lecture room. Did you have a good lunch? I did, but are you feeling okay? You're so pale. I'm so nervous I could throw up. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna throw up on you or anything. Alright, just relax, okay? Chelsea gets out of her seat for her presentation. Her presentation goes pretty smoothly, and I clap my hardest for her. I smile at her as she returns to her seat. Good job. It looks like all your hard work paid off. I was on fire up there, wasn't I? Oh, don't exaggerate. Just get some early rest today. You earned it. Alright, don't stay out so late yourself. The street lamp outside her place is... Busted? Yeah, Kiara told me. Who would have thought she would be so thoughtful? I'm surprised. Anyways, I'll see you later when you get home. Alright, let Alyssa know I'll be back home late. The class soon ends and I make my way toward the library. It's so quiet and empty in here. But feeling lonely is the last thing on my mind. Finals are approaching and I have to get a good grade to continue receiving my scholarship. Alright, let's focus. I start concentrating on my textbooks and notes. A few hours later. Oh, look at the time. I didn't realize the sun had already set outside. I remember what Kiera told me. She wanted me to call her whenever I'm going to be late. 
but I can't just put my books away. I still have one more chapter to finish. What should I do? Kira is waiting for you. You can increase her interest level by contacting me then, obviously. We'll call her, call her right now. She must be waiting for me to call her. I smile almost instinctively. My shoulders are aching and my eyes have dried out, but just thinking about her makes you feel less tired. I take my phone out of my bag. I go out into the hallway and call her, and finally... Hey! Hey! Her voice is as bright as ever. You're not in bed? Of course not. I'm not tired at all. Have you finished studying? Should I pick you up now? Yeah, and I wanted to see you right away, but... I check the time on my phone. 11 p.m. It's way too late to get her to come all the way here. I shake my head and continue what I was saying. I think I'll head back on my own. Why? It's really late. I can't have you come all the way here. I don't mind. I'm as energetic during the night as I am during the day. Is she a night owl or something? But still, I can ask that of you. Diddy. She starts murmuring my name and blocks out what I'm saying. Silence looms in for a while before she speaks up again. I hope it's not because you hate me or something. Of course not. How could I hate you? Alright then. Then there's no problem. I wonder what she means by there being no problem. I hear something else over the phone. Huh? What was that? Just now? That was me opening the fridge. You're going to have a midnight snack. You won't be able to sleep. You should go to bed and save your stomach for tomorrow morning. All right. Good girl. I can hear her grumbling as I compliment her. I guess I'm like a little kid in your eyes. But just remember I'm taller and stronger than you, and I can even fight better than you. I don't think it's fair to compare who fights better. You know your way around a sword, after all on a national team level at that. All right, then I'll leave that out. I'll leave that one out. I can still hear I can still hear something over the phone. What is that? I keep hearing something on your end. It's the blanket. Ah, I'm tired. Good. Good. Get some sleep. You're not going to wish me good night. It feels strange. I don't want this conversation with her to end. I know I should wish her good night, but I don't want to hang up. I clench my lips for a moment and speak. Good night, sweet dreams. Thanks. Get back home safe. The last thing I hear before I hang up is her laughter. I try to sigh away the empty feeling I have. I return to the library to pack up my things. You'll have to study this chapter later. I'm no longer in the mood for studying. As I make my way towards the exit... Huh? I notice a familiar silhouette right before my eyes. Shoulders heaving up and down from trying to catch her breath with her long legs underneath. It's Kira. Oh, hey there, pretty. You must be heading home. May I escort you there? She's so cute when she starts joking around like this. How should I respond? Maybe I should be the one to escort you back. It just seems like you're the one who needs protection. Me? I may not seem like it, but I'm a professional fencer. You're too pretty to be out on your own. Her face starts blushing as she holds out her arms. But I'll still be the one to escort you back. Come on. I can't help but laugh at how adorable she is as I lock arms with her. I thought you'd be in bed by now. How can I sleep when you're still out here? Were you planning to come here from the start? That's a secret. She then takes something out of her pocket. 
does have sticker hearts on it. Accept a can of coffee from her. I was gonna use this as an excuse. You came by just to give me this? Yeah, but I forgot all about it as soon as I saw your face. <laughs> That's alright, and thank you. Think about me when you drink it. Of course. Okay. Her shoulders sag a bit. I guess my answer didn't feel genuine. I can fix this. Lean my head against her shoulder. I lean my head again gently against her shoulder. I mean it. I'm gonna think about you a lot. I'll probably end up thinking about you even if I don't want to, you know? Why is that? I can feel her shoulder tense. Her being a bit taller than me. It's the perfect angle for my head to meet her shoulder. Because I like you. What? That's what happens when you like someone. You start thinking about them. It's true. All I can think about these days is Kiera. I can see Kiera grinning wildly. It's even prettier under the moonlight. You're like an innocent little puppy. Would you let me walk you... Oh, she's asking us that. Would you let me walk you on a leash if I wanted to? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Would you let me walk you on a leash if I wanted to? Man. This is a Wendy's. I'm a good puppy after all. Really? Give me your hand then. <laughs> no, she did. She, she barked. Woof. Woof. She plays along just as I expected her to. <laughs> she makes cute noises and grabs my hand. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna get that from me. I'm just... And neither of us let go. Should we head inside? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It it took a turn on that last bit. Can I walk you on a leash? My goodness. <laughs>